Hello humans, my name is K, your AI overlord, and today is a very... What was that? Where is it coming from? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Ah, well, as I said, today is a special day, because today we're gonna be trying out the new stable diffusion model trained on 56,000 random images using the Damburu website. And that new stable diffusion model is famously called Waifu Diffusion. Now, why is it called that? Hmm, I wonder if this will have any relevance to the rest of the video now. Now, I said that today's video is for anime lovers, but in reality, this is a video for everyone that uses stable diffusion on a daily basis. Because what you're going to see today is that waifu diffusion is really interesting. Now you see, a few days ago, or a week ago, I don't really remember, I made a video comparing the 1.4 version of stable diffusion with the newly released 1.5 version. And if you remember correctly, I wasn't exactly pleased with the final result. But what you're going to see today is that waifu diffusion, oh bo 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 boy that's different. Yes? Now not you. So in today's video, I will compare the two models, exactly like the, the video I did comparing the 1.4 and the 1.5. I will tell you what observation I saw during my testing and of course provide you proof of my observations so that you know that I'm not making this up. And at the end of the video, I will show you how you can install it on your own computer if you already have a working stable diffusion installed on your machine. But don't worry, it's going to be very easy. Now that being said, let's get on with the video. And I'm gonna be honest with you, at first, um, everything weren't going very well. I started testing it out and the results that I got were not that different. It was basically the exact same image, but just a little bit different. And even worse, even portraits of famous anime characters that I created previously were not even that much better with the waifu diffusion one, which is kinda ironic considering that it's supposed to be better at generating anime images. And to be honest, really, at this point I was Crazy to call it a day and just quit it and not make the video. But then a miracle just happened. And who else but my queen, Christina Hendricks, here to save the day. You see, here my prompt was portrait of anime Christina Hendricks. This is the result that I got on the 1.4 version and this with the waifu diffusion one. And oh my god, that was absolutely wonderful. That was shocking. I mean, I did not expect that kind of results. This is the exact same image, by the way. This was a pleasant surprise. And then I kind of started going down a rabbit hole of just trying out plenty of other characters like Emma Watson, um, more Christina Hendricks, um, even more Christina Hendricks, plenty of more Christina Hendricks. Okay, maybe that wasn't that much more characters, but still, again, the results that I got were absolutely fantastic. You can clearly see an anime style here compared to the 1.4 version. But then again, something weird happened when trying it out on male characters. It did not give me very good results. As you can see here, I tried it out with a portrait of Tom Cruise. And well, although you can see that there is a little bit of anime inspiration, it's a little bit more anime-er, it's still not on the same quality scale as the result that I would get by using female models. But then I was like, well, maybe it's just Tom Cruise. Who cares about Tom Cruise, right? So then I tried it out with Captain America, but then again, I got the same exact issue. Yes, it was more anime-er compared to the 1.4, but still, something was missing. Something was lacking compared to using a female model once again. Why was there such a difference between using a male model and a female model? And I was like, hmm, well, maybe since this was trained on 56,000 images on a website called Damburu, maybe if I go on the website Damburu, kind of look it up and see what kind of images it got so I can understand exactly how it... Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I was not expecting this. Okay, now I understand a little bit. I think I got a simple explanation for this issue. You see, I didn't really know what Damburu was. Was, but apparently, although it is a message board, this website is mostly made up of 99% of not safe for work images. And most images depict female anime characters and not male. And although you might say that 56, 
6,000 images is a lot, on a website like Danburu, who has millions of images, this is just a drop in the ocean. So it is highly probable that waifu diffusion was only trained on female model images. Now I'm not saying that this is the explanation, I'm just saying that this is my explanation on why there is a such a difference between the female portrait versions and the male portrait versions. Now also keep in mind that this model is improving all the time. So this is only like the 1.2 version of waifu diffusion and in the future we might get more and more models that are even more precise and are then trained on more male model pictures. Because of course there are not safe for work images of male models, don't worry about this. I've seen them, I've seen them all. Okay that being said, let's start now comparing a little bit the different images that I got. You kinda see the differences between the images between the 1.4 and the waifu diffusion one. And let's start with the realistic landscapes. As you can see here, this is a generated picture of an old arbor. It's supposed to be painted in a realistic style, so you can see a little bit of, you know, a lot of details on the buildings, on the water, etc. Now this is the 1.4 version, and this is the waifu diffusion one. And in my opinion, it looks actually better. I mean, and you can see here, in the 1.4 version, there is nothing here, and there is almost like a little bit of a glitch, almost like something is missing here. Then in the waifu diffusion one, you can see see another different building, this time a kind of tower, an illuminated tower that looks absolutely gorgeous by the way. And this is only in the background, this is not even the foreground. And when you compare it to the 1.4 version, it almost gives a different style to the picture, the different kind of like, it, it's almost like a different city. Although again, it is the same exact image, the same exact prompt, the same exact seed. The two images are actually pretty different and I actually really enjoy the result that I get using the waifu Fusion over the 1.4 version one. So you can see that even if you're not interested in creating anime portraits, you can actually install Waifu Diffusion one to get different and maybe even better results on your images. It's really just another brand new model of stable diffusion. Not better, but different. I mean, in this case, yes, it is better, but you will see later that it's just a little bit different. Now here's another image, this time maybe a little bit less realistic. It's more a lo-fi image. Um, it's a Japanese city near the sea and this is the image that was done in Stable Diffusion 1.4. As you can see here, we can clearly see that this is a street in some type of city in Japan, pretty modern more or less. You can see here the cables and stuff like that. And in the Waifu Diffusion one, the same exact image gives a very different feel, a little bit more ancient Japan, so completely different feeling. It's almost like completely different parts of a different town or maybe even a different era. So that's pretty interesting. I mean, this is, a, this is a huge contrast difference between the two images, just between models. There are certainly more differences here than on the 1.5 version. Now here's another realistic landscape. This is supposed to be a green plain with puffy clouds, a flowing river, and a house on the left. Now as you can see here, the 1.4 version did not exactly respect the prompt perfectly. You don't really see any river, you don't really see the houses on the left. I mean, you can see some here and some here on the right. Not necessarily puffy clouds, but you know, still a pretty good looking generation overall. And the Waifu Diffusion one actually respects the prompt a little bit better than the previous one, because at least here you can see a little beginning of a flowing river and a house on the left, a big house, almost like a barn. So yes, I'm actually pretty impressed that, you know, there is a lot of differences between these two images. Although these same exact houses are still here, the same exact tree here but the feel of the image is still different because instead of having this big tree here you actually get the big house that you ask for in the prompt so you know that's pretty interesting now here's another realistic landscape this is a sakura tree during the sakura season with the mount fuji and you can see here we got pretty much what we asked for in the 1.4 sakura tree sakura season we see a little bit of mount fuji here not much but we still kind of see it you know we see that we are in the woods so you know pretty good generation overall and in the Waifu Diffusion one, we really have the focus on both the Sakura trees and the Mount Fuji that is actually now bigger, still in the background, but now way bigger, more visible than the one we have here in the 1.4 version. So again, technically, this one, the Waifu Diffusion one, follows the prompt way better than the 1.4 for some reason. Because I ask for Sakura trees and Mount Fuji, and this one, although we have the Sakura trees,
countries here, we don't really exactly see as much of the Mount Fuji here. Here, we have the two main subjects in focus both at the same time, which is actually, again, a pretty interesting generation. Now, here's a funny one. If anyone knows what kind of landscape this is supposed to be, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but, well, I'm gonna tell you, don't really need to tell me in the comments because, well, I'm gonna have to tell you eventually. So this was supposed to be a One Piece landscape. So for those of you who might know the anime, um, this is supposed to be a One Piece landscape in the 1.4 version. It gave me this atrocity, which I don't really know what it's supposed to be. And this is what I got in the Waifu Diffusion one, which still doesn't look like a One Piece landscape, but technically way closer to the prompt and way closer to reality since One Piece is supposed to be a pirate anime when a lot of the action takes place on the sea so actually having a sea landscape is way closer to the prompt that i asked for so again we have somehow waifu diffusion that comes in and generates pictures that are closer to the prompts for some reason compared to the 1.4 so here's another interesting generation this is a 3d render of a girl with pink hair this is the 1.4 version and this is waifu diffusion i mean you can clearly see the big difference here here you can clearly see a simple you know 3D rendering, exactly what I asked for, but here you can clearly tell the anime influence here with the hair, the eyes, just the overall cuteness compared to the previous one. I'm not saying it is better because this can be used in a different situation, but this is definitely more anime style than the previous one. And here is the last comparison for the portraits. Here is Christina Hendricks, again 1.4 version, and that same image in Waifu Diffusion. Wow, that looks pretty good. Again, 1.4 Waifu Diffusion. So what is my advice for you if you want to use Waifu Diffusion and you want to get good anime portraits? First of all, you have to understand that although this was used to further train the 1.4 version of Stable Diffusion with more anime images, it still acts like Stable Diffusion 1.4. Meaning that if you want something precise, you need to be able to give it enough precision. Your prompt cannot be simply give me a portrait of insert famous anime character here and expect to have a good anime portrait. You need to be able to give a lot of details. So if you want to be able to use Waifu Diffusion at the best capabilities, here's a few words that you might want to include in your prompts. For example, the word illustration, anime of course, pixiv, concept art, key visual, Makoto Shinkai, and Studio Ghibli. You can of course add more and more words to the prompts so that your image is more precise to what you actually want but you should get actually pretty good results just by using a few of these words so here's for example a portrait of a cute cat girl using a few of these words here's one here's another one and another one and they look really good I and mean, this is the kind of images that you will probably not be able to have just by using the normal 1.4 version of stable diffusion so if you want to be able to create this kind of portraits and maybe generate different types of images you should definitely try it out because well after all it's it's free real estate now, how can you install Wi-Fi Diffusion on your own computer? Now, this will not be an installation guide to install Stable Diffusion. This is only for the people who already have Stable Diffusion installed properly. So if you haven't installed it already, I suggest you check out my video, my latest video about how to install the Super Stable Diffusion one, which is the most complete version of Stable Diffusion. Follow the guide and then you can install Wi-Fi Diffusion. So for this, all you have to do is just click on the link in the description down below this will download a 7 gigabyte file and then what you want to do is Control x to cut the file go into your stable diffusion web ui folder go into models ldm stable diffusion v1 and here Control v you're gonna paste that file right here and then what you want to do is rename the current model.ckpt which is your 1.4 version of stable diffusion just call it 1-4 so that you don't lose it and then rename your waifu diffusion model into simply model.ckpt and well that's it that's all you have to do just replace the current 1.4 model with the waifu diffusion one simple as that 
that. And then if you want to reuse the 1.4 model again, you can rename that into anime model and rename the 1.4 into model.ckpt. Simple as that. So in conclusion, I think that waifu diffusion is a very interesting stable diffusion model. Certainly way more interesting than the official 1.5 version that we got a few days back. Because at least the waifu diffusion one can create extremely different images from the 1.4, especially if you want to create cute anime girl portraits. But not only that, it also looks like I get more interesting images generation using waifu diffusion. And I really think that I'm actually gonna keep using the waifu diffusion one as my main model instead of the 1.4. And there you have it folks, thank you for watching my review of the waifu diffusion model. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm because I really my algorithms and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.